Private banking is about provision of personalized um, financial services to ultra high net worth individuals and high net worth individuals. These are people who are highly sk scheduled people, they are quite busy. Um, because of the nature of their wealth, which is quite complex, they require advisory services. So in Fidelity Bank, Fidelity Private Banking is um, a specialized division that caters to the needs of this group of individuals. From day one, we set out to be number one in every chosen market and in every branded product that we offer. And then we had a mission to make banking services simple. 20 years ago, there was FSB, and FSB had a private banking division. So when Fidelity Bank acquired FSB, it was for a reason. Apart from the fact that we saw synergies in the corporate and commercial end, we realized that, you know, we said we'd serve people in every chosen market. We realized there was also synergy in the way FSB managed um, high net worth individuals. And so the wealth management aspirations of Fidelity, we saw a need that FSB would bring that on board. In the initial stage of um, developing that brand, one of the challenges we had was one, the acceptance of that sub-brand. People could not understand why do you want to have private banking? Why should it be separated from retail banking? But private banking provides superior and extraordinary service, exceptional service. There are certain kind of people that if you must serve them, and you serve them in the regular branch, you'll be losing that market. They require bespoke products. You, you know, they require wealth management. They require um, personalized attention. Um, of course, we give every customer um, attention, but you can't, for instance, serve the retail market the same way you serve the private banking segment. Uh, the retail market, we, 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 you keep fine-tuning your technology because it's like a mass market. But for private banking, you require a lot of relationship management, a lot of personalized touch, and after you have identified the kind of um, clients that fall into that category. So it's not just about how much you have in the bank, it's about the complete profile of that customer. At some point in 2014, the division was celebrated. We were named the best private bank in Nigeria by PWM. PWM is Professional Wealth Management and the Banker Magazine, both of them are publications of uh, Financial Times UK. That award was an independent one and they wouldn't have gotten that award if they were not attracting these influential individuals and clients. I started with Fidelity Bank about 15 years ago but when they then started the private banking I moved into the private banking. I was invited into the private banking section. So how long have I been with private banking I haven't checked my records, but it's well over 10 years, and I've been very happy with it. As a young child, I had visited banks in Geneva and Zurich with my father. So it was a pleasant surprise to move back to Nigeria and find that Fidelity Private Bank not only matched, but surpassed our expectations. I was under the impression that private banking was for the elderly, old-moneyed, supremely rich. But from my experience with Fidelity Bank, I have recognized that it is not about age. With banking, I am looking for peace of mind. Um, I'm looking for smart type of banking. So banking that helps me use my money wisely as it gives me confidence that my money is safe in it. In my six years with Fidelity Bank, I have sort of always had the strange I don't know whether this is me in my head, but I get the feeling that I'm the only customer that they have. Um, because I'm catered to as and when I make the need, you know, I, I make it, I, I require it. Sometimes it doesn't feel like there's any other customer, because if I call my account officer, she's there. If I wanted her to fix a letter, get a statement, you know, transfer money, she just, you know, it, it happens in the blink of an eye. 
at this age. I don't want to be running over to a bank and asking to see the MD or, or talk to people at the counter. Whatever I need, I call and they come. And they render whatever services I have, whether I want to open a domiciliary, whether I want to get some cash quickly, and then they collect the check and get the money to me. And then the ease. I'm here in Ikoi. Now they've opened a branch at uh, Murikwa Lakija Crescent there. So it's uh, quite near. I found uh, banking with them very useful. And I've sort of put a lot of the business I do with my company, Infidelity, private banking, of which the other accounts I have are very jealous that they don't um, see me anymore. I'm not putting funds there. I say, you guys to go and open private banking and uh, ask them how they are doing it and do the same thing. Believe me, I have worked with many banks. But this bank is one of the best. There are no bank in Nigeria. I say my family, open your accounts. Don't have two accounts, different accounts. In terms of the professional uh, side of things or the professional perspective, uh, my interactions with them have led me to have further discussions with the construction unit. Uh, we as an organization have found that to be invaluable in terms of uh, changing our thought processes, how we strategize moving forward, uh, things like that, basically. From my bedroom, I interact with them, tell them what I want, tell them what I want done on my account, and uh, within a short time, they respond and, and give me good results. Fidelity believes in that word fidelity. In fact, they say fidelity is their bond. Therefore, in choosing fidelity, I feel that they will satisfy my need and I have not been disappointed. If they remain consistent the way they are today, a place in the private banking in sub-Saharan Africa, which means is a growing economy, more and more people, on their services. Private banking has an excellent future because uh, so long as people want to be actually be understood in a special way, there will always be a need for that service. And when you look back at the legacies, you can only look at them with uh, confidence because you can look at the future with confidence as well. So I'm very happy that we're celebrating 20 years of legacy and I very much look forward to many more years of excellent work by the excellent team that you have in Fidelity Bank. In the next decade, we're going to be looking at so many things. Um, innovation, we're going to continue to build on technology, to invest in technology. We're going to improve on client engagement because that's where sustainability lies. It's a division of the bank, so it enjoys full support of the corporate you know so um, sustainability of that franchise is stronger than ever this is 20 years and counting and if you look at the quality of clientele and the services that we offer you will see that it was designed to um, be a sustainable model everything is about connecting with our customers connecting with our customers so connecting with the customers means so much to us. It means that the customer comes first before ourselves. Customers first. I know some banks use that in their advert, but clearly it's something that um, you know we we work our talk. Pitching private banking to anybody is not by just what I say to you, if I were head of private banking, is not just by what I say to you. So I'll say to you, um, you fit the profile, you've got what we're looking for, but whatever I say to you, another bank can say to you as well. But you have friends who are like you, they bank with Fidelity Private Banking. Do your background check find out what they've been enjoying, and then join your friends to enjoy these services. We are fidelity, we keep our word.